So I'm mitering a piece of the cock beating here using the 45 degree guide block. And so there's our 45 on the cock bead. And then we only need an eighth and an eighth of an inch of that. So I got my miter gauge here set to an eighth of an inch. So all of this material over here is waste. That's all you need. It's just this little eighth inch piece. This is straight across. That's going to fit underneath the drawer blade. And then that's going to miter the other piece of uh, cock beading. So now I can measure it, cut off the, the bottom, since I'm doing the bottom one, uh, cut off the bottom square, and then fit it in. So I cut it to length, and it fits in the slot here. And uh, as you can see, the little stub is up there, and it matches up pretty good. And then I just use a chisel here as a marking knife. To mark off where the miter needs to be. And then I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a very small corner right there that needs to be taken off and you can pair that off or saw it off there's a you could take with a fine saw that I have there a razor saw and you could saw that off but uh, the main idea is to get that trimmed off of there. So I could have used uh, the razor saw here and taken that little piece off. So anyway we got the majority of it off. The back here needs to be cleaned out of this and there's some glue in there. see how well we did. There you go. That's it. And that's a pretty good biter. So uh, the process is the same all the way around. I'll move the camera here a little bit and back up. So these are a little bit trickier because you have to do two of them, but it's just a matter of uh, measuring correctly, getting the the square ends uh, in in there nice and uh, tight, and then trimming off the little little tabs. So we got to do that all the way around. Well, this is the uh, cock bead glue up. So we got the cock beading on all the way around and. Uh, Got it clamped into place while the glue is drying, so we got to do the other one, and uh, 
we'll be done with the cock beating. Well, I have this um, Antiques magazine from 1987, I think it was. Yep. And in it, it has an article about uh, John Chipman and uh, the cabinets that uh, they've been able to attribute to him. The nice thing about this particular article is that it has uh, the chest that I, pair of chests that I'm making, but it has the bottoms here so we can see the, um, the way he laid out the feet uh, and attaching the feet uh, to the bottom. So I'm starting to work on the feet, the bracket feet at the moment. So they're uh, uh, curved, so here's a template of the shape and they're six inches high and uh, rather long in that area. This is a side, of course, so it's straight, straight back. There's the front and it's thicker by uh, I think a half inch. So this is an inch and this is an inch and a half or inch and three eighths. And uh, you can see, first of all, that I uh, mitered them to the back corner, leaving the extra material about three eighths of an inch uh, on this edge. That all has to be carved off. Well, I've got the first one uh, made here as a practice uh, foot, and it's not bad, but um, it needs to be a little more curvy, I think. So this area here uh, doesn't come out. This area here does not come out as far as I would like it. So uh, we've got to add more material to it so that it can come out to there. So we'll uh, do some modification and try again. So I've got the foot mounted here on a device that keeps it uh, perpendicular to the uh, tabletop so that I can uh, saw out the curves. Well, I'm working on the uh, good ones now. Well, I've got one completed here. We can zoom in on that. And I'm reasonably happy with the shape and uh, the carving. So uh, I'm working on a second one now, so we'll explain a little bit what I'm doing. So here's the foot glued up. So you got a thicker one, an uh, inch and a half over on this side and a one inch one on this side and they're mitered in the back corner which leaves all this excess in here. Now uh, the idea is this area here is, is going to be rounded over and uh, follows the curve that there is on the front of the chest. So we can't bandsaw this out like that. Uh, I want to take this material off here but I can get at this without disturbing the back so I did bandsaw that out that just helps with uh, speed up the carving here a little bit. Oh and uh, of course uh, I tri put it underneath the chest and then traced the, the line across here. That line is uh, the edge of the chest. This is a uh, line here is where the uh, chest changes from flat uh, to start the curve. So then we add our curve here which follows this curve uh, over here. So that's where we want to take all the material out. So we'll put it in our vise here and uh, then I set in A stop cut all across the back here and I did that before 
So then it's a matter of taking all this material out here and this is really set up for right right handed carving but um, and the, the grain is running the opposite way. So that's a little awkward so I'll, I'm going to probably change the direction uh, that I'm carving but uh, you get the idea all this has to be carved out to match down there. Well you can see I t turned it around here so that I can carve left-handed which I'm much better at but it doesn't take uh, too long to knock out the the heavier pieces to get close to the line. Well I roughed it out now with the, the gouges and you can see there's about 16th or less uh, all along that edge so now I can use some rasps. This is these are Nicholson rasps to take off the final 16th of an inch and bring the two sides together. Well, using uh, files and uh, rasps, uh, obviously the rasps early uh, and uh, the uh, files later to get it uh, somewhat smooth. So we've got a, a, a good miter there on the, the point and now we've exposed the round over part. So th the top of the hill is around right there and we'll mark that and it, it comes down from that direction but at the same time we have over here a curve that uh, follows the curve on the front so we have to do that at the same time and then of course this has to start out from that line curve back so that's what we're going to work on next So I'm doing a little carving here, trying to get the shape right on the uh, curved bracket foot here. Well, looks like we got uh, one pair on here and uh, they're looking pretty good. Need a tiny bit more refining, but uh, that'll come when I uh, finish smoothing them out. So we got another pair to do. I'm about ready to uh, wrap up the carving of the uh, front feet here and I wanted to go over what I'm doing on the side and the back. So the side foot is uh, is here, uh, a one inch thick piece that's uh, mitered onto the front and the, the rear foot is exactly the same way. So uh, when you saw the portion of the video that had the, the band sawing where I had it mounted vertically I put a screw in the back and was able to the band saw the shape and then of course clean it up uh, later on so that's this is a rear foot and that's pretty weak rear foot but Mr. Chipman was rather stingy in his use of the expensive mahogany which he probably should be so he actually just uh, fabricated uh, a couple of blocks in here and some glue blocks uh, to help out there so I, I didn't think that was a particularly good uh, construction technique so I made this this is uh, actually the rear feet so we've got a one inch piece of uh, secondary wood here and another one inch piece uh, they're dovetailed on the corner here which makes a nice strong joint and this shape here uh, follows the shape of the uh, side foot but is slightly smaller. These will be glued together along this edge here like so before they're glued to the bottom of the uh, chest. So it'll look, look like that and be flush along here. So we'll have a nice strong, it'll be uh, almost two inches thick 
uh, there and uh, this these two pieces will be glued together and then ultimately there'll be glue blocks in the back here and reinforcement in the center and uh, that'll be a good strong rear foot so that's uh, that's where we're at so the next step will be probably working on the front the drawer fronts